Hello everyone, it's Hexes here. Today we have a new update from War and Order. This time they added alliance reputation levels and corresponding rewards. Just like the alliance gift system does, it can be a good measure of an alliance's overall activity. However, the rewards are in that rich as usual. The reputation system is divided into seasons which last three months each and the alliance reputation levels will reset annually. There are seasonal rewards for achieving certain reputation point thresholds. You can raise the alliance reputation by participating in events and gaining individual reputation points. And these individual points come either from rankings or achieving targets in a given event. For example, in the Anubis Tower event today, if you go into the rankings, you can now see in the ranking rewards, there is another line called individual reputation. And for rank one, you can get 200. And if you simply participate in it without really having any rankings in the top 100 or top 200, you can get a minimum number here as five just for participating and we can expect let's say for pony event or the hades secret order event it could be that you get individual reputation for achieving the target points and the target rewards and let's just hope that they don't reduce the rewards from these events further to accommodate the new individual reputation points and you can see which events are eligible for individual reputation by pressing that plus button and then you can scroll down here to see which ones are currently in the pool where you can achieve individual reputation points. The alliance reputation level points requirement and the seasonal rewards requirement are different. So level one reputation here for the alliance, it says zero out of 30,000 now, but for the seasonal reward, the first tier reward is at 20,000. So maybe we get better seasonal rewards based on the alliance reputation level. Let me know in the comments below once your own alliance completes the first level so that we can clarify this question. There is also a seven day cooldown period for new alliance members before their individual reputation points can get added to the alliance reputation. However, they will receive the seasonal rewards even if they are still in the cooldown period. Today, after the update, the gameplay does feel a bit more smooth. Like it uh, goes in and out of the screens faster. And let's see now when we do events like Territory Defense and Fortress Wars, if this is going to hold true. They also added a new world map overview and a zoom feature. So you can zoom out of your screen like this to go directly into the map mode without having to press the button. However, it can be a bit annoying if you want to get an overview of a hive and then zoom, zoom too much like this and keep going into the world map mode instead. I do like that the territory now looks more stable instead of the previous feature when it kept blinking. Now it looks more clear to us what our territory might look like when we want to go into the world map mode and see it, especially right after a realm merge when we are building up our hive back up and our territory back up. This could get more useful so that we have an overview of where our flags are. And so when we click on them, like we go there and exactly it goes into the borders. So overall, it's an all right update. If you would have liked to see some other improvements rather than an additional feature like this reputation system, which is also not really bringing much for us in terms of rewards. However, it's free. Just for participating in events, we get something more extra. Hopefully, like I said before, it wouldn't reduce our event rewards also along with giving us some more reputation. So see you all next time with a topic on the what changes I would like to see in War and Order this year. So until then, goodbye guys.